In this composite Google Earth drone image, we see the location of the currently active mud vents and mud pools. In this 3D model, we see that the activity is taking place along a clearly defined line. In this composite Google Earth elevation image, we see the fourth scarp that was produced by the 2018 earthquake induced slope failure. In the cross sections, we are seeing the scarp and associated subsidence along the fault. In this video, we look at a new mud vent and its impact on the surrounding area. In this map and cross-section, we see that the cones have built up in height over time from the fairly level fields in area. The highest cone is 124 feet above sea level. 
which is 19 feet above the surrounding area. Activity in the central area increased in 2019 and has slowly diminished. There is no difference in activity between the wet and the dry seasons. In the western area, reactivation of all vents took place in January 2020 and activity has slowly declined over time. Thanks for watching this video to its end.